is your it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about the reasoning behind the wrongful bans in NBA 2K23, my team. Now I wanted to find out if there was a pattern of why people were being banned. Was there a specific reason or not? Now eventually, through all the replies, shout out to everybody who did reply to this tweet, kind of found a pattern that related well with me and why I think I was banned as well as a lot of other people. Now the first tweet I'm gonna bring up and kind of use it as, as an example is from D. Gray. He says, Evo and playoff cards and selling them in the auction house. That is the only thing different over the past month, which is wild to get both me and my son's account banned, which is crazy. Because guess what? When Desmond Bain was out there, I did that a few times. Buying him as an Ami, Evo and him, selling as a dark map. Mamba says, I buy VC and sell the cards I pull with added hot badges. But then he basically goes on to talk about Dark Matter playoff Evos for 100k. And he evoed Bane when he was announced for 100k. And he thinks that might be what triggered their system. Matt says, I was banned for buying playoff cards low and selling them for profit after Evos. Again, buying a player as cheap and then evoing him, selling him for more. Now, one thing I've noticed in my team, back when I played in my first 250K, I used the Evoed Up Diamond Terran Trust that started as Ruby, Evo to a Diamond. Why? Because my team overall was a little bit lower because Terrence Ross actually registered in 2K as a Ruby. I'm thinking this is still the way it is. So even after you Evo Desmond Bates at Dark Matter, I'm thinking 2K still sees him as that Amethyst and it triggers their system. It's a robot doing the bands. It's not actually a person going in and seeing what's going on. It's a robot. And if they see an Ami going for 100K, that's how I actually used to buy MT, putting up an Ami for 100K getting bought. So maybe that's the problem. So let's say somebody did it with Jalen Brunson, Desmond Bain. 2K thinks it's an Ami being bought for 100K, when in reality, it's a dark matter that is worth 100,000 MT. Originally, when Desmond Bain came out, he was going for like, even the Ami was like 50 or 60,000 MT. Now, when you evoed him up, he would go for even more. Right now, the Desmond Bain playoffs is going for like upper 20s, I would say. And you can still evo him for profit. Nothing like that's changed. But the problem with it is, are you gonna get banned if you do it? Cause like Evo Desmond Bain as an Ami is like 30,000 MT. You turn him into a dark matter, he's now what? Over 50,000 MT. So yeah, you can make some profit. It's the same way it was, but when you evo him, you could sell him for 100K and you could get him for around 60. That is what I did. I did that with about four or five Desmond Bains. And that's what I personally think I got banned. So let's go with Tobias Harris. Right now, he's got a pink diamond and he's got a galaxy opal. So I almost guarantee if Tobias Harris has a really good game back, which that what it would be, he'd at least for a moment go for 100,000 MT. And as a base pink diamond, 2K, if you sold them for 100K, would probably say, oh, that's probably MT buying, even though it's not. And that's kind of the gray area with everything. And I'm not saying everybody's has to do with the playoff Evos, but that's mainly what it is. Al Horford, if he Evos to a dark matter, he might be a buyout. But, uh, you know, his base card's going for 30K. So it's it, that's the gray area. And, and again, I don't love the fact that 2K is banning people knowing it's not 100% legit. I don't like that because there's so much that can go wrong with this whole situation. And I've experienced it, right? And I know there's a lot of people out there whose 2K support isn't even replying to. 2K told me before the whole playoff Evos, the band system was pretty solid. Ever since then, it's been kind of just wishy-washy. Jalen Brunson was probably another guy. Mitchell Robinson, you could be another guy because what is a base Mitchell Robinson? I don't know what he is. A pink diamond, maybe a galaxy opal. And then they see him going for a ton as well. So I would just, I am telling you guys right now, be careful with the playoff Evos right now. And it's sad that I have to tell you guys this, but no, seriously, be careful with it. If I was not a content creator, I would still probably be banned. And that's sickening. Because 2K support is so inadequate. I mean, they don't even care. It, it, it shows that they don't care. When they tell you as a customer, 
that they review your account when they don't. That makes me so irritated. Why do I have to go to 2K support and for them to tell me they looked into my account and it's not up for a discussion? That's not true. That's not true at all. And, and that's what they're telling the entire community over, over us working the auction house. And again, it's not. It, I'm not even trying to sit here and say that there's not anybody buying MT because there are. But my whole thing is this. They're banning the wrong people. They're banning the wrong people. It's that simple. Some people out there literally bought MT, they locked in a new bowl, and, th and they, they got away with it. And again, that's fine. If that's, if that's you, awesome. You got around 2K's way of doing it. But the problem with it is they're banning the average person. I feel so, so, so badly. Because 2K told me, like, you know, that, that they'll get to the people who are banned and they'll figure it out. You've banned them for half a week now, and you still haven't figured it out. You haven't communicated with your community. You haven't put out a tweet saying, you know, we are aware of this. It's an ongoing issue. We will, you know, work with you guys to help figure it out. Instead, your 2K support agent is saying, we've reviewed your account. This is not up for discussion. This will be the last time we're we speak on it for people wrongfully banned. And that does not sit right with me. And if 2K wants me to be quiet, they can fix it. Honestly, I go as far as to saying this, I'll work overnight for you guys for free, investigate everybody's account, look at their exact transactions and tell you guys whether it's legit or not. RJ Barrett right now is 50K. Okay. If he has a good game, boom, he's going to be 100K. Obi Toppin, 10K, 8K. If he has a really good game and somehow Evo's to a dark matter, he is going to be going as a pink diamond for 100K tonight. That's the issue. I would not be doing my job, number one, if I didn't advocate for you guys as a community, but number two, didn't warn you guys. That's why I got banned. I know 100% sure. I didn't get banned because my TMAX sold for 1.9 million. I got banned. I got banned because I evoed Desmond Baines, four or five of them, and they sold for 100K each. That's why I got banned. And again, I was about to make a video saying, yeah, you can buy Desmond Bain for, you know, 50k selling for 100k after tax it's 40k profit it's a great evo method but that's not buying mt this goes back to my whole thing this is nearly impossible to enforce number one and number two why are we focusing why are we not focusing on the mt sellers right if you see an mt seller buying cards constantly overpriced that's the issue, not people who are trying to work the auction house and who you have a suspicion are buying MT. I'm unbanned and I'm still really frustrated because they told me that they were going to go back through everybody's account and, and work through it. They did say it'd take time, but there's no communication. Why am I being the ones that has to inform the community that this is actually an issue? Nobody in the community would even understand that what's going on unless somebody speaks up about it and you guys should be the one speaking up about it 2k you're the one wrongfully banning your community that pays you money i just got a dm that says here's me here's proof of me buying a 450 every week and getting banned and he hasn't bought mt since january i legitimately right now see a ton of 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 of, of, of him buying packs i see it i literally see it 450, 200, 450. I see this guy spending over $200 on packs and you're still banning him. You think this is a good business decision? Do you guys think this is working out for you? Because before this whole ban wave, 1% of the my team community was buying MT, maybe 5%. Now, everybody knows what MT is. Everybody does. And, and, and look, why? It's because you guys can't enforce it correctly. If you can't enforce it correctly, why enforce it at all? And, and again, I, I agree that there should be some, you know, measures taken. But how about how about we focus on not allowing them to farm MT? How about we put an auction house in place, maybe like the MLB The Show one, that doesn't, you know, allow that to happen? If I'm 2K, I'm unbanning everyone. Even if it's 10% of the people are wrongfully banned out of, out of the whole 100%. It's too much. You got to figure it out. And if you can't re review each account by a big, you know, case by case process, let it go. Let it go. Because you guys are in the wrong here. You're in the wrong. I'm upset. 
beware of doing anything with playoff evos for now because 2k doesn't have a good system in place it's gonna wrap it up for our video guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comments i'm hoping you guys eventually are going to get unbanned they told me it was a matter of time but we'll we'll see at the end of the day drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day